Today marks exactly two months until the 102nd West Side Nut Club Fall Festival returns to Evansville. 44 News reporter Ben Laufer is live for us tonight. He's on Franklin Street where it looks nothing like it will come this November, Ben. That's right, Brian. Just 60 days away from now, Franklin Street here will be lined with families, fun, and plenty of food options for the 2023 Westside Nut Club Fall Festival. I spoke to organizers about how festival preparations are shaping up and the impact that it has on the nonprofits who participate each year. We've been working on it all year. As soon as festival gets over, we start thinking about next year. Every year since 1921, droves of tri-state residents pack Franklin Street during the first week of October for a week filled with food booths, rides, and family-friendly fun. While much has remained the same over the years, this year, Westside Nut Club organizers are making some slight adjustments. In regards to our pre-sale armbands, uh, this year we've decided that we're going to go online with those, and those can be purchased at either one of our websites, and uh, you'll get a voucher just as everything worked before, the difference being that you can do it all from the convenience of your home or your office. So we're really excited about that and really looking forward to it. 44 News spoke to nonprofits who have participated since the 1970s. They say the revenue they generate from the fall festival every year is vital for their organization. Organization. Uh, it's north of 50000 They are very important. They go back into our general uh, revenue fund. They help all of our programs, whether it's case management, uh, the seniors, the activity center, or uh, nutrition. The Nut Club says that their infamous Munchie map, which details what food will be available where, is set to be unveiled in the coming weeks. Also in the coming weeks, Tryouts for Amateur Hour for the Fall Festival will be held on August 23rd and the 24th, and those will be at Modern Day. For more details, as well as more information on this year's Fall Festival, you can head over to our website at WEVV.com. Reporting live in Evansville, Ben Lawford, 44 News.